what you are about to see is um, part two, or volume two, I guess I should say, of my collection of uh, clips from Radio Radix. Radio Radix was a live stream show I did with my co-host Twisted Ambition, although the other koalas popped up every now and then. And we only really got through one season, but um, I made volume one, which was a clip of episodes one through five, um, clips from those episodes put together, and I thought, I can't just have volume one out there and not do volume two, and take some of the best moments out of episodes, uh, six through ten. So, that's what you're gonna see here, um, if you're interested in me doing streams in the future, let me know, and, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say besides, uh, social media links in the description, don't forget about that, mate. So, yeah, it's hard to do. So calls when no one's in the discord server so there's a link in the yeah. description yeah so yeah if you're not if you're not if you're not on the discord yet hit that button below join us on discord we post funny memes like i posted out some funny stuff some funny occult stuff before uh for this stream you know, some crazy halo cult stuff <laughs> i don't know why I you have, ha I have i have june from halo reach crucified on my fucking wall right now. Yeah, I... I have not taken him down. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna leave it there? He's just there! <laughs> my wife walked in and went, the fuck did you do to this Barton? I was like, don't ask questions. And it's... then she got mad about me using tea candles. It's it's Halo stream <laughs> night. We have to summon the Halo gods. Well, we have a quote, genocides are fun, twisted ambition. It goes right up Why? in the Hall of Fame with I like the school shooting and the Holocaust was fun or whatever it was I said. The Holocaust was funny. That's what I said. <laughs> the show brings out the best of us. Jesus Christ. Oh, I regret nothing. <laughs> I I'm picturing like, uh, you know how at Normandy there's this field of crosses and stuff for all the soldiers who died at the beach landing. Just cross after cross after cross after, you know, the occasional Star of David. But, and then, like, you're just walking through all, the, like, this memorial of all these soldiers lost, and it has, like, their names and stuff, and one just says, Die for nothing at all. <laughs> Didn't do anything helpful. <laughs> In fact, he wasted a few million dollars crashing a fucking a sparrow into the goddamn <laughs> machine. <laughs> who Who's paying for that book? Who? True heroes, each and every one of them. Fucking dumbass. It's all on one tomb. Like, you know how they have the crosses? This is a really fat, thick cross, just then all just written on it. <laughs> yeah. And like at the oh, at the beginning of the of the memorial, all the crosses, it says like devoted to all the heroes who died at Reach and Buck. <laughs> just and Buck. Correct the moral for Reach. We we wouldn't we wouldn't consider him a um. hero. That's how I want to die. <laughs> That's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> good, well, good news. You're already on the way there. Oh, Jesus. Halo. It's kind of like Minecraft. That's going to be the next quote above my head. Halo's kind of like Minecraft. Like, I, I wore the Leonard Skinner black hoodies and had mm. my hair down to my fucking chin. Right. It's like, life sucks, but Halo's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wore my trench coat. Every day at school, you know, looking Shit. like the school That's shooter. That's different, dude. That's different. That's different. That's I get, I get from you. I could see it. I mean, you could see it. I, I if you, I heard next if, if Lake's message me says, "Shit, you hear? <laughs> Primal some crazy shot up at school." Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, some days I would have to dress up for like a presentation or something, so I, it would be a nice suit and tie with the trench coat. Well, not suit, but the trench coat oh, would serve no. as the jacket, as a jacket, and it looked nice. I would bring my Soviet hat, you know, sometimes like do a joke no. about uh, that I'm a Soviet officer. That's where Comrade Primus originated, man. We're gonna head back in that, that zone. Oh god, it's all nightmares <laughs> and terrible writing. Oh fuck, it's awful. Why would you do this? You had one chance, 343 Industries! The game is flashing before his <laughs> eyes, and he's becoming Cobra Commander out of the trauma. Why would you do this? God. <laughs> we need the Weather Dominator <laughs> to kill 343 Industries. Is this the true origin of Cobra Commander? Uh... Beanie comes in with, wow, I forgot I subbed to you. Thanks for the support, Beanie. We, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank, th thank you for for popping in. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck, this guy's still alive? <laughs> Shit, okay. I thought I left this guy years ago. <laughs> Shit. Good job, Beanie. Well... <laughs> fuck. I, just, I mean... I just don't know how to respond you, me, to I, I, I'm kind of I'm with you. Tell me about them GoBots. Well, GoBots are technically in the Transformers multiverse, but I don't want to talk about the Transformers <laughs> multiverse. That's the so last thing I'm doing. I was so I fucking close. <laughs> no, it's expensive. Yeah. Piece of shit. What? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, gee. Oh, Sudden oh, animosity. I'm not talking about you guys. From? Sorry, I'm just working on that. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is wonderful. We have everyone but Dreadcore. Let's give ourselves. <laughs> a <laughs> perfect. We Let's not go into perfect. We don't need Dreadcore. We're like, oh, like, oh. We, we need to give ourselves a round of applause for this. You have some blacksmithing. Knowledge, but not enough to make a suit of armor. I lost track of the conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's like, happening. What's going on? <laughs> All of a sudden, we have this government intrigue plot trying to stop some sort of, <laughs> as I understand it, a Marvel mutant type character that has the natural <laughs> ability to drop meteors. There we go. Oh, no. oh there he is. Oh, oh well. Yeah. Well, what's then. What's this? Proud one? American spirit Trump. Oh. Yeah, it's me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Welcome to the Discord again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've, been been, I've, I've been, like, I see messages from you guys sporadically. Like, one time I saw that someone was, like, my daddy or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Soul Trucks finally got rid of the Owen Wilson channel. Thank God. Wow. Wow. I think the Owen wow. Wilson channel is nearly as cancerous as the Ugandan Army channel. No, that that's up there, too. <laughs> I think Twisted hasn't taken no it down because nice he's thing. abandoned it. Do we need to air any grievances in the Discord? What channel should be deleted? Besides <laughs> Uganda. Probably think... Traps. No, yeah, that's probably... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, no. Because you're making fun of it! I'm pulling out my folder, bitch! <laughs> Your folder? You don't need a folder. My it's folder! A, it's a waste of bytes. <laughs> it's my folder! No! Of non-shared memes! <laughs> Twisted. Twisted, we, we need to have an intervention. I need you no, to. No, I drew this one myself. Gathered here today. I need you to highlight the folder. <laughs> I drew this one myself. Locate oh, the, the delete key. I made this for you. <laughs> I made this for you. And delete the folder. <laughs> no. Deletion is the path to salvation. <laughs> no. That's why I shit in Starbucks constantly. I don't. I don't get their coffee, but I just go and shit in the bathrooms. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, like, right. On the road, I don't drink. The I coffee. shit in Starbucks constantly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, fuck you, good job. And I'm like, hey, it's a Starbucks. It's fucking take the longest dump and then leave. I've had a lot of black kids try to fight me. I've only fought black kids. <laughs> That's racist. It's, it's shit, not like man. I selected who yeah, I was gonna fight. <laughs> Your least favorite YouTuber says, I mostly had to deal with southern white boys, but instead of fighting them physically, I insulted them with advanced insults, such as pitiful plebeian and miserable mongrel. These words confused them and made me look more intelligent in comparison. And then so, they beat me up. Get your ass beat Somebody the screenshot that and send it to R. I am very smart. <laughs> He probably, he, he probably beating them up with intelligence. That's not how you do it. <laughs> that sounds like some no. middle school fedora would... tipping thing if I've ever heard it. <laughs> that would get your ass whooped even more in my school. You <laughs> need get... the thought, plebeian. Wham, wham, wham. I don't know what them words mean. You would get whooped and I would be there cheering. <laughs> I no, would, you yeah. fucking deserve that ass whooping. I'm sorry. Let your life... Pass you by. Weep not for the memory. All right, thank you guys all for coming out. Dun, 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 dun. Something about mountains, West Virginia, the worst place in the United States, except for that one plantation in Louisiana that still operates as a plantation with prisoners instead of slaves. Boom, here we are. Hey, welcome back to the only stream weekly show on YouTube that openly advocates 
for the uh, abolition of the US-UK alliance. So, like, it's just complete chaos. You drop into a Mountain Blade Warband single player game and just you're just running left and right trying it will this sword work oh let me block with my shield oh no my shield just broke you're just it's just a scramble just trying to live it's almost like real life in that regard <laughs> just a a sc scrambling in chaos and wars breaking out and you could have like <laughs> you you're, you're you're getting good with this one noble and you're like um all right we've become best friends what do you want me to do next i want you to capture a group of of um, cavalry people. Oh, but I'm playing this with a mod and they got rid of the cavalry people. You gotta capture seven of them and bring them to me or else I won't be your friend anymore. But, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> but can I not do that? I'm sorry, when you hit the button, do you have any jobs for me? There's no, I'll accept that job or I won't take that job. You just accept it, man. Oh, no. <laughs> And you have to walk up to the noble all disappointed like, yeah, I couldn't- Okay, I- most of the time when I play Mountain Blade Warband, I play it with a mod called 1860s Old America. And I play as this confederate okay. soldier during the Civil War, and I'm just like, you know, going through the ranks, becoming friends with like Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. And I walk up to like Stonewall- <laughs> I walk up to Stonewall Jackson's like, you've been supporting me, maybe I'll become the leader of the confederacy one day. How about any other jobs I can do for you? Yes, find me 18 spearmen. We're in 1860s America. I understand that there were spearmen in the base game, but surely the mod creator didn't overlook to change that quest, you gotta, right? You have to you find go to Ireland, me, dude. Go to Ireland. Find me 16 you Ireland, spearmen. Dude. But I, I can't do that, sir. Well, I'm no longer going to support your bid for the throne. Oh God, it's just it's just utter Wait, chaos. Why is there a throne still? <laughs> because the game can't change throne. The game doesn't. The game takes the base game is a medieval simulator type thing. So when you you mod it into 1860s America, who cares about democracy? Who's ever in charge is the best general, which means Robert E. Lee is like the dictator of the Confederate States, and we oh, almost Jesus follow Christ. his orders. We actually just went to dinner a few minutes ago. They're like, hey, would you like to uh, donate a dollar for the starving kids? Yeah, well, I've been mean, just my life. Um, are they not ever gonna be fed? <laughs> How many dollars are you going to ask I me? want results before I give you more money, Cherries! I want results! When I was in high school, we had a math teacher who made us play this online web game where basically it was like trivia stuff and it ultimately each point you got equaled like a certain amount of rice that would be donated. It was like one of those charity games and I swear I must was, have fed him. Was it done by grain? <laughs> I don't know, but... Uh, we did it for extra credit, so... And I'm terrible at math. I pretty much failed every test, but I just kept doing that extra credit thing. So I must have fed all of the Congo by the end of my time. <laughs> and I the school. Congo? All of the Congo. <laughs> the entirety of it. Sir, sir, the new, the new rations from our Lord Primus have come in today. Oh, how many grains of rice? 40,000 grains. Oh, half a bag. We'll eat like king for a day and a half. He must be really failing those math tests. I, I hope there's a statue built in my honor somewhere. Like, <laughs> like, Brian's pro, uh, like Radix, whatever. What, Radix, he could have done better. <laughs> could have done better, but at least he fed this village. I should be able to fly over to some village in the Congo. Like, you remember that time those group of random people just sort of snuck in the middle of the night and dropped some bags of rice and just left? <laughs> You can thank me for that, and they just- it's like Star Wars Episode Six, where all the Ewoks are treating C-3PO as a god. It's sort of like <laughs> that. Your best friend is in court, accused of 19 murders. You've been called as a witness to defend him. You have the evidence you need to do it, because you're the killer. Oh. I just walk up in court, I know he didn't do it because I'm the killer. Everyone claps like, thank God, we we solved the case, boys. Everyone goes we home happy. We saved an innocent man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just walk and out nobody asks like a single lawyer. question. Yeah, that, that's just how it ends. Like, there's no, nobody says, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, why don't we arrest the dude who just said that he was the killer? Sorry, that's not how it works. You're going against the freaking law that you can't get information from duress or whatever from you can't get information from illegal sources he just walked into the courtroom and said he was the killer and that's his right god bless america and i was like he walks out america 
America, fuck yeah. Watch him as he stabs this girl. Oh. Well, he stabs the girl, slits her throat, and just walks on like his jolly way. Like as he's like on the on the courthouse like steps, just. He just walks out all jolly and happy, that like a, like an old knight movie. They all walk up behind him, Look at that glorious bastard. As he's what has his like twenty other heads, he just like stabs four got four people. Yeah. He's walking. Oh, maybe he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to jump to conclusions. Start streaming. Are you sure you want to start streaming the live event? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to start streaming the live event. I've been trying to do this for twenty minutes. I don't know how Chinese Americans feel. So but... why should we care about black? They left their country. I just want that part of the stream just taken out of context. I'm not gonna- All the fight. underground layers. Uh, Batcave was mined by gingers. There's a lot of stupid things in the cuckoo universe. An enslaved society of gingers is not gonna be one of them. <laughs> you know, I don't know why you have censors on your channel. I don't know why you took that. I just, I just accept all everything anybody says. Yeah, I don't know why it's there. And it doesn't- People will say words that I have set to be caught and then it just won't be caught. Like whenever a trend, a dude will come up and was like, "Who do you think will win a fight, Optimus Prime from freaking Armada versus?" Wait, wait, Optimus wait! Do you Prime? have Transformers words? Fucking yeah, the word transform. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> if someone comments with the word Transformers in it, and it goes immediately to my hell to be reviewed, and then I delete it right then and there. In Iraq, you know. All right. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, it's it's like it's, yeah. it's a turkey shoot. It's hilarious. Let's review the. Let's, let's review the movie American Sniper doing that. The American Sniper will be mentioned in this because he was Draco was timed out by Ultrox in 300 seconds? Oh, man. <laughs> Why is what the Ultrox... Oh, my God! Ultrox, what did you just do? Is this Crystal knocked? <laughs> oh, my God, he deleted all of his messages. He deleted all of Draco's messages deleted. All of them. All right, there's uh, Ultrox. <laughs> oh my god! You know, Ultrox just got tired of it. <laughs> oh my god! He's praying alter me. Oh, okay, I can see what he said. I demand perks, shower me with praise and on stream notification. Create an altar to me and just ban. Okay. Just timed out for three. He, he deserved, deserved it. it. <laughs> okay. One person asked if we were watching, um,. Uh, E3 and I typed out this long response and then like a week later the same person asked if we watched E3 and I just copied and pasted the response. Here's what I think about um, E3. A depressing almost dystopian-esque illustration of our society. Mm. Mindless hordes spend their money and time to cheer in the masses as their technocratic bourgeois bourgeois idols. Idols who know what power they hold over those they look down upon release mediocrity. Products of minimal effort and lack of risks. Only to be hailed as godsends by the hordes who continue to spend their hard-earned money to grab at anything. Anything at all to keep that flame of childhood and wonderment alive and exceedingly hard in the, in the exceedingly harsh world they found themselves in despite the paradoxical corporatism they themselves are fueling the overlord the overlords keep the masses in line with the smallest of gestures and a smile that's what i have to say about e3 <laughs> battle royale guys hey I mean, guys you like you like battlefield yeah we like battlefield because <laughs> you're all 12 year olds you know um all right so you like fortnite as well 12 year olds yeah we like Fortnite! Everybody else is like, wait, what did you say? No, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, how? Now we're now we're bringing. Listen to me, guys. Listen to me. Now we're bringing battlegrounds to to the Call of Duty. 12 year olds. Yay! Everybody else. No. <laughs> you know what's no. terrible? When you what? make that voice, the only person I can he I can visualize talking like that is Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club because that's how you voice her <laughs> at the beginning. So that's the only I'm just picturing Monica coming up to these kids, giving them this this um sales pitch on Battlefield Five with that stupid stupid voice. Why is anyone afraid of chainsaws? But why are blacks? Do you know the answer to this? Mm. Because chainsaws can do harm. 
No, no. That's not why they're afraid of chainsaws? No, it's the sound. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I'm in that's why I went in the podcast. I have a question. Yes, Dreadcore. Uh is uh attendance taken for this class? Um, let's see. Alright, twisted ambition. Uh oh. Dreadcore. Here. Alright, Ultrox. Present. Oh wow, we got our entire class here. All right, oh, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Um, somebody, what's nineteen minus six? Nineteen minus six. Seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, you've missed thirteen billion uh. years of history so far. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> One of these planets is Earth, because of course it is. Um, there's th Question. I, yes, twisted. If they run out of fuel, how are they going to get to the other planets to get the fuel? <sighs> right. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I never Wait, thought. Did you hear me? No. I, oh. I, I just never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of fuel. Fuck, let's drive 14 million light years to go get another, some more fuel. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, a group of serpent men. What? You know every good sentence starts with that. <laughs> a group of serpent. <laughs> but as a, as a result of this war, the blue area gets wiped out of life, but you can still breathe in the blue area. The blue area will be important later on. It's just in Marvel, the blue area becomes sort of the base for the Inhumans. I don't mess around with that Inhuman crap in the Cuckoo universe. The blue area is going to become a Nazi base, so just hold on for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're just drifting throughout the galaxy, just sort of, whenever they hit a planet, they stop by and try to mine some of its resources and carry on. 40,000 <laughs> BCE, Nirabu crashes into Earth. It's not like a major crash, it's more like when your car slightly bumps into another car. I have a question. Yes, Dreadcore. How large is this, is this uh, planet? I don't know. I have a question. Yes, Ultrox. Is it just magic that this planet is not affected by gravity? <laughs> Well, <laughs> drifting planets are a thing, right? Yeah, but they're not. They're they're just. That's because they're just sitting in space somewhere, not really near anything else. Now, I guess I they would be affected by gravity if they entered the they solar don't, system. They don't planets either. They don't. They don't just play tag with planets. <laughs> so Nirabu crashes into Earth lightly, doing no major damage. <laughs> <laughs> Nirbu crashes into Earth so we can say it crashed into Earth because it sounds cool, but we don't want to leave behind any archaeological evidence because that will create some plot holes as to why Earth is normal. <laughs> beacon, beacon in the heavens that even God must look at. Because if you remember, God in this universe doesn't care about anything. He's just wandering around going to whatever is the most shiny. And he wants both wants to... The autistic guy. <laughs> look over there! Oh, it's so shiny! So Thoth makes this grid... God wave! ...to get God's attention. <laughs> Alright, so... 33 CE. Jesus Christ dies. So, oh, jeez! Oh, God! <laughs> the space Jews did it again! To sort of experiment, like, okay, these humans, maybe they're not so bad. I've seen so much death and destruction on Earth, I'll create my <laughs> only son, send him to Earth. Jesus Christ gets killed 33 <laughs> years later. <laughs> crucified the way, on the... The less, the least amount of, like, time joy we've seen so far. Can, may I add, this 33 year... 33 year jump is the least, the, like the smallest jump I've seen while I've been here. Oh, yeah. We haven't because it's been like, oh, 3 million years, oh, 100,000 years, 30 years. Oh. No wonder okay. God becomes a dick. He sends his son down and he dies 33 years. Yes. Come on, it took, you, it took you like 3 million years to grow this little egg purse in the middle of your planet. And then, oh, look, my son, here it is. It'll take him at least like 10,000 years. Oh, 33 years. Okay. So. Well. <laughs> So, God decides to give humanity a chance we kill his only son. 871 CE, Lucifer sends his... Okay, so Lucifer, who's been chilling in hell all this time, or rather not chilling, is like, alright, you know, Earth, 
Earth killed God's only son. Maybe this planet isn't so bad. So he visits Earth. <laughs> I forgot to end the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Bye.